Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, back with another couple cards for my holiday series. And this time, not only using wax seals, but making them the focus of the cards. Get a lot of questions about wax seals. I did a live video earlier this week and really dived into the ins and outs and all the info I could possibly cram into a video. And I will have that in the wax seal playlist that I set up because again, people were asking lots of questions and I've done um, previous videos incorporating wax seals. And then I'll also have that video that goes in the ins and outs and all the things. And plus a vo bonus video of another live I did and I used a wax seal on the card as well. So for this video and these cards, I decided to just make a whole bunch of wax seals. Just having fun with it. So I'm using Honey Bee's um, Winter Wonder Wax Melts. So those are all little pieces you see on my glass mat. And I'm going to use the Snowflake Wax Stamper. I have my little spoon on top of, this is called a furnace. That's a little unit holding the melting spoon. And I have a tea light lit under that. The little furnace was a gift from a friend. They're pretty easy to find online, I think. Another option is to use a heat tool. And I'll actually show that in a little bit in the video. And I've shown that in other videos, just using like my embossing tool to melt. And it's actually faster to use the embossing tool. Whatever works for you. And then I'm working on the Honey Bee uh, silicone mat that they released to create wax seals with. This silicone mat is thicker than average silicone mat, so it can actually handle quite a bit of heat. And so far, everything I've put it through has been, it's held up just great. Um, I know people are going to ask us about the wells, if they're meant for creating, you know, perfect circles. One, I cannot stress it enough, perfection is overrated. <laughs> But two, I did actually show that in the live video I did all about wax seals and um, how much wax you need to use and what it ends up doing. So you can check that out if you're interested. So here I'm using my Heat It craft tool and using that to melt the wax. So as always, because, you know, you're either working with high heat if you're using an embossing tool or flame with the candle and the little furnace, you don't even need the furnace. You could just light a tea light, you know, have a candle and hold the spoon over the heat. That works as well. Biggest thing to keep in mind is the metal part of that spoon gets incredibly hot, like super, super hot. So do not touch it. Even when I'm cleaning it out here, um, I'm just using tissues to clean it out while it's still hot because the remaining little bit of wax, it just wipes out really easily. But I'm just being very aware and making sure not to touch it to my skin. If there's any extra wax, um, I'll show that as well. And I actually like pour it out, scrape it out, and I put it back in a container. Because with these ones specifically, I wanted to create seals with individual colors mostly just because you can see those other ones at the top those are the ones I created during my live and I was you know marbling and swirling different colors and all that fun stuff which is also super fun and that's usually what I do but I thought for this these cards it would be really nice to have just solid colors so that's why I had separated them all into little piles and then would melt them and I'm only melting about three or f I start with usually four melt them do a pour press the wax stamper into it and then I add um, three more of the same color to what's left in the spoon and then melt that create another seal and then I can kind of scrape out while it's still hot the remaining little bit onto the mat let that cool off for just a few seconds and then I just pop it back in the container because you can still reuse it and that's what I'm doing here I've got my little um dye release tool and I just use a little spatula end of it scrape out that excess onto the mat I'll let that cool off and then I'll just throw it back in the container because you can remelt this and you can remelt the seals themselves like if you're not happy like the that first silver one I did I didn't like um that I didn't use enough wax for it so I just threw it right back in the spoon melted it with what was left in the spoon 
And then I had enough wax to make it the size I wanted. So it's definitely something that's, I don't know, I find it very therapeutic to just kind of sit and play and create these. And I don't know, it's fun. I've said this before. I really, really love wax seals. They're just, they're just fun. You know, you can use them how I'm going to do today. You can add just one as, you know, an element to a card. You can use them on the backs of your envelopes. Um, the only thing you have to be concerned about is the thickness with envelopes. Um, depending on your like location and your postal regulations, you may have to add like a hand cancel stamp or pay extra postage, that sort of thing. But these do go through the mail. I have received mail from like cards from subscribers that have sealed their envelopes with a wax seal and I love it. It's so fun. You can also, though, seal your envelope and then if you, you know, depending on the bulkiness of the envelope or if you want to include it with a gift, whatever, stick it in a bubble mailer, mail it that way. That works too. And I did all talk about all of this in that um, live stream I did talking about wax seals. You can also, if you're feeling confident, you know, you've played with it enough because you do, you get more of a feel for like how much wax you need, all the different things. The more you play with it, and the more you make, you start getting to know like how much it's going to take and, you know, your pores and all the little things. But if you're feeling really confident, the way I do these cards, you could like pour these out on the cardstock itself. I wasn't confident enough to do that. <laughs> Hence me doing them separately on the little silicone mat because, you know, that way I can remelt them. I can, you know, play with them. It'll give me the control to adhere them, that sort of a thing, you know. So I just kept working my way through all of the different colors of wax melts that are in this winter wonder pack. So there's three shades of blue and silver and white. And again, it's just really satisfying to melt them and then, you know, pour out the wax, press my little stamper into place. And then, um, yeah, I get this little pile and it's just, it's just fun. So you can also do this, like just do up a bunch of little wax seals to include on cards. Like, you know, sit down, watch a movie, make some wax seals and then put them in a container, you know, save them for later. So when I was done, blew out my little tea light, you know, safety first. Don't want to leave things like that going around, especially around cardstock, all this stuff. And then um, my sentiments for my cards, I pulled out the Jingle All the Way set from Honeybee and just a piece of white cardstock. And I chose a couple sentiments from the set and I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool. And then I'll ink up these stamps with Simon's clear embossing ink. And then I am going to emboss these with gold embossing powder. I could have done one of them in silver for the card with the blue snowflakes, like keep things matchy matchy, but I do prefer gold or silver and yeah. I, I prefer gold over. That's the only reason. <laughs> I like silver and I love those silver wax melts. It was beautiful. But I just wanted these sentiments in gold. So that's what I did. So I coated them with gold embossing powder. Melted them with my heat tool. Once these are melted, I'm going to use the coordinating wafer dies to die cut these sentiments. So I'm going to tape the wafer dies into place with some washi tape. And then... After I've die cut the sentiments, I die cut a bunch of scraps of white cardstock with those same wafer dies. Something I tend to forget to do sometimes is like, because I love having the coordinating wafer dies for sentiments. I've said that a million times. But to use those wafer dies to die cut, you know, scraps, extra pieces to give that dimension that I love to stack sentiments, it makes life so much easier. And it's a good way to use up my scraps. So I die cut the sentiments multiple times from those scraps of cardstock. And then I'm just going to adhere them together with craft tacky glue. And I ended up using, I think three layers of scraps and then the top layer of the actual sentiment. Since all of these wax seals are gonna go on the card front, I've got a little bit more dimension already going on. So I made these sentiments a little bit thicker just to stand up to the um, design basically. And off camera, I had used the Make It Merry wax melts with the Christmas tree wax stamper. And I'd done the exact same process. I'd gone through and did all those individual seals with the colors of the wax melts. And again, it was just ridiculously satisfying. <laughs> so 
to adhere these, I've got a piece of uh, Distress Heavyweight Craft, my favorite, Love. So that's my card front. And then to adhere these uh, wax seals, I am using score tape. I've, I've experimented with a few different things to adhere wax seals and score tape or foam tape or glue dots or red line tape are my preferred ways to do it. Any liquid adhesive, no matter what it claims, no, doesn't work for me. Um, even the really, really strong ones, because like they'll adhere to cardstock, no problem, but these are wax. So trying to adhere anything to wax, eh, not the best, but score tape does really good. Any of the one, like, and I'm using air quotes that you guys can't see, but like dry, what I call dry adhesives, like score tape foam tape those sorts of things seem to work the best and can really kind of cling to the wax so with all the score tape i actually folded it, it a piece of score tape in half to make it like double thickness not the hugest difference but it gives just a little extra so i can like press it really good and down so i did all that and then welcome to my gemini cam <laughs> Just following in Kathy Zielski's footsteps here, um, aka my phone in a holder over it. I haven't figured out how to do multicam lives yet. Yet. We're getting there. Anyway, I wanted to add sentiments to the inside of the cards. This was an experiment. I wasn't 100% certain this would work because I'm using the Craft uh, Distress Heavy Stock again. And I wanted to see if I could foil on it. Um, because, you know, usually like smoother card stocks, that sort of thing. And the craft heavy stock, like it's heavier. It's got a bit of texture to it, you know. So I had my Glamour Hot Foil machine going. I had Sentiments from Honeybee's Foil Script Holiday uh, Hot Foil Plate Set and Gold Glimmer Foil. And did the whole process, ran that through. I taped them down with the Gold Glimmer Foil. And then I'm going to peel this off. And it foiled like a dream, like a chef's kiss. It was so satisfying that after this, I did like the entire set, like just kept foiling sentiments because they foiled so well in this and they were just, again, it was just satisfying. <laughs> so once those were foiled, I die cut them with the coordinating wafer dies that come with that set because it's a set of sentiments, like hot foil plate sentiments and the coordinating wafer dies. So I die cut those as well. So I taped those into place. And then ran those through my machine to die cut them. And then once I had my sentiments die cut, I can start assembling the cards. So I'm going to adhere the panels that I adhered the wax seals and the sentiments to. I'm going to adhere these to white card bases. These are top folding A2 size cards, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And I cut that craft heavy stock down before I even adhered anything to it to just slightly smaller. It was roughly like four by five and a quarter something like that so adhere those to the card bases and then i'm going to adhere those hot foiled sentiments to the insides of the cards so get those adhered into place could technically leave this as is however i also had the coordinating bling from that release um, so I'm going to use the uh, Make It Merry gem stickers and the Winter Wonder gem stickers, which I pat myself on the back for using because I hoard honeybee gem stickers. <laughs> Just like everything else I hoard. Seriously, even the wax melts. Like I used a lot of them to make these cards, but I was like telling myself, I'm like, I can order more. They're, they're, uh, I know. I know. So these have adhesive on the back of them. So I added some bling you know, in the matchy matchy colors to coordinate with these. And it just kind of gave the cards a little extra something. They were super fun. So I just peeled them off the little backing sheet with the, the pokey end of my die release tool. I need to get a couple more of these. Uh, this die release, I use it for everything. And it con I'm constantly misplacing it. Always. Always. I definitely need to get more of it. This is like one of those little must-have tools. So anyway adhered those into place and then that finished off these cards so like i said at the beginning of the video i will have a link to my little playlist that i am you know compiling all about wax seals i will also link to my holiday playlist because this is number is this number five or number six number six so far so i'll have a link to that playlist as well if you guys have missed anything and of course links to all the supplies i used will be in the description box below the video as well as on my new website that is still a work in progress 
those of you that watched my previous video about my blog issues. Um, thank you all so much, tons, for this outpouring of support. Love it. And yeah, we'll see where the website goes as I figure things out. But I will have a link to that post as well in the description box below the video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos, for thumbs upping and commenting. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.